to another edition of Back to School. My name is Abarad Zeba. Today we're dealing with algebra and I am hoping to focus on the basics of algebra. So what do the letters mean? Why do we use such an ancient language today in the 21st century? And how can you simply understand the concepts of unknowns? So let's get started. I've got an X here and I've got a Y. Now, we see this a lot in algebra, but what does X, Y, A, B have to do with maths? Well, quite simply, I want you to think of X, Y, A, B, N, T, whatever letter they use, as a representative for a specific value. Now, it doesn't matter how many times that X shows up in a particular equation or an expression, and we're going to go into that in another video, but that X holds a particular value. Now, let me try and put it in a way that I think you guys might understand. I want you to imagine that this X represents a pair of, oh, something, a pair of Nike trainers. Okay, and this Y represents, yeah, it's going to represent a pair of Yeezys. Okay, so X is representing our Nikes and Y is representing our Yeezys. Now, if I told you that I bought two pairs of 97s, Nike, and two pairs of Yeezys, and it came to a total of £400. Could I write that in a word equation? Well, yes, I could. Basically, what I've said is 2 times by X and two pairs of Yeezys, 2 times by Y is equal to 400 Okay, cool. So we've got a multiplication in there, we've got X's in there, and we've got numbers. But we understand this concept of two pairs of Nikes, two pairs of Yeezys, giving us a total of £400. So let's use another colour now to make this look like an actual equation. So instead of multiplying this, in algebra, we simply write these next to each other. So 2x, when you multiply by a number, it becomes 2 times by the value. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to get 2y. And what does that equal? 400. So 2x plus 2y is equal to 400. Let's go back to our example. If the 97s were each £85, so I'm now telling you that X is equal to 85, I should be able to work out the cost of the Yeezys. Now, I want you to pause the video and see if you can work out the cost of these Yeezys. So let's get cracking with this. If I did 2 times by 85, I'm going to put that into brackets. And I know that I've got 400 over here. What would I simply do? Well, the total amount of this taken away from 400 gives me the cost of two Yeezys. So what's 2 times by 85? Quick way to do it without a calculator. 2 times by 80 is 160, and 2 times by 5 is 10. So 160 plus 10 is equal to 170, okay? And then I've got 2y over here. So if I take away... 
400, take away the 170. What am I left with? Now let's do another bit of simple arithmetic. 100 away from 400 gives me 300. Now take away 70 from the 300, I'm left with 230. Now I'm going to write that in another colour. So I've got 230 pounds. Right, so my Yeezys was basically 230 divided by 2. Now, that's a bit simple to work out. 200 divided by 2 is 130 divided by 2 is 15. So each pair of Yeezys is equal to 115 pounds. Guess what? We just went into JD Sports and we just did some algebra. Make sure you check out part two where we delve into how to group like terms.